Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a quick and easy functional equation. We have two functions, f of x and g of x, and we're given two equations, so we're going to be solving for g of x in this case because we already know f of x. I could also be asking something like what is g of 5, what is g of whatever, it wouldn't matter. You could pretty much find anything once you have g of x. So let's go ahead and uh, see how we can solve this problem. First of all, we are given a definition for f of x, and function is basically just a rule that tells you what to do with your independent variable. x is an independent variable, and y is considered a dependent variable. So in this case, instead of x, we are supposed to replace it with something that is like a functional expression. But that's okay, you can replace x with pretty much anything. If you don't like x, replace it with t, replace with z, whatever you like. Even zero, negative one, one million, anything you want. So if you use that definition, f of one minus g of x, is just gonna take that quantity, multiply by three, that's what the rule says, and then add four. So this is the same thing as f of 1 minus 2 times g of x. And we're also given that it's equal to 25 minus 12x. So how do you solve for g of x from here? Fairly easy. All you have to do is distribute and solve for g of x. But let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to distribute 3 minus 6g of x plus 4 equals 25 minus 12x. Now, a lot of times x is a variable, but in this case, g of x is our variable, so we're going to find it in terms of x. Let's go ahead and add uh, some numbers up. 3 plus 4 is 7, so negative 6 g of x. I'm going to subtract 7 from 25, so 25 minus 7 is 18. I'm not very good at arithmetic, but hope this time hopefully I got it right. And I got this, and then, hmm, I could divide both sides by negative 6, right? Yeah, cool. I can do it. Negative 6 cancels out and I end up with g of x. But you can do the following. If you want, you can factor out negative 6 in the numerator. That's going to give you negative 3 plus 2x. And that's divided by negative 6. Just to get rid of all the negatives together. Negative 6 is going to cancel out. And we're going to end up with g of x. But let's go ahead and write it down as a linear equation in standard form, so g of x is just going to be 2x minus 3 from here. So once we find g of x, we can pretty much find anything, and then, you know, you can just go from there. So now, let's quickly, um, you know, this video was pretty short, I think, so let's go ahead and quickly check our work, sh shall we? And if you are done at this point, uh, I mean, feel free to pause and, uh, you know, anyways, just just watch the rest of the video, guys. So what is f of 1 minus 2 g of x? First of all, what is g of x? This one. Double it and subtract from 1. Great. So if you double it, you'll get 4x minus 6. And I have to subtract it from 1. So it's going to give me f of 1 minus 4x plus 6. But that's just 7 minus 4x. You could also write it as negative 4x minus 7. And then this is going to become, because f is given, 3x plus 4. This 3 times plus 4. Distribute 21 minus 12x plus 4, and that's going to give you negative 12x plus 25. Is that the same as 25 minus 12x? Yes. So our answer checks quickly, and we got the right answer. And this is going to be our, um, what? This is going to be the f of whatever that is, okay? So our solution checks we got g of x as 2x minus 3. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow. I mean, I don't know. Maybe next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.